So in this video, we're going to learn the concept of selection of terms in an AP. So often you might come across a problem where it might be find three terms in an AP whose sum is this and whose product is this, or find four terms in an AP whose sum is this and product is this. So in such type of questions, how we select the terms is very, very important. Why? If you don't select the terms in a proper way, your calculation become very, very lengthy, right? That is why we're going to study that based on the number of terms, which are the terms we should choose. So whenever you have to choose three terms which are in AP, choose them as A minus D, A and A plus D. If you have to choose four terms in an AP, you'll choose them as A minus 3D, A minus D, A plus D and A plus 3D. Now what is the logic behind this? See often in these problems you are given the sum of the terms. So we select the terms in such a way that when we add them, D should cancel out. See what is A minus D plus A plus A plus D? If I add these three terms, the sum comes out to be 3a. See, d gets cancelled out. So let's say the problem if I've given the sum of three terms in an AP is 18. So immediately 3a is equal to 18. So I'll get a is equal to 6. The moment we get one variable, so 6 minus d, 6, 6 plus d. So then there's only one variable left. Otherwise, if you take normal a, a plus d, a plus 2d, calculations become really, really lengthy. Right? Similarly here, if you add all these terms, minus 3d plus 3d cancel, minus d plus d cancel. So sum of all these terms is 4a. Similarly, add these terms, minus 2d plus 2d cancel, minus d plus d cancel. So sum of these terms is 5a. Same thing over here. So whenever you have to select terms in an AP, select them in such a way that when you add all of them, the d variable cancels out. So you're left with only one variable a, which you can immediately solve. So that is the logic. So I repeat, whenever you have to choose three terms in an AP, a minus d, a, A plus D. Four terms in an AP, A minus 3D, A minus D, A plus D, A plus 3D. Five terms in an AP, A minus 2D, A minus D, A, A plus D, A plus 2D. Six terms, A minus 5D, A minus 3D, A minus D, A plus D, A plus 3D, A plus 5D. Right? So I repeat once again, the logic is when we add all these terms, the D should cancel out. Addition of all these terms, 3A. Addition of all these terms, 4A. Addition of these terms, 5A addition of these terms, 6a. Also, if you notice, here the common difference is d, here 2d. See, minus 3d and then minus d. So here common difference is d, here 2d. Here d, here 2d. So whenever we have odd number of terms, common difference is d, for even, it is 2d. So we select it in such a way that sum should be a, right? So please remember this table. Now, I'm going to rub this off, and then we're going to learn how to solve questions based on this concept of selection of terms in an AP using these particular terms.